in this session i will be discussing chronic lymphocytic leukemia that is cll also known as small lymphocytic lymphoma that is sll so either you say cll or sll so let's start cll so what is cll it is cll or sll both are identical neoplasm they arise due to abnormal neoplastic proliferation of the b cells of the b lymphocytes so basically cll is defined as an ab absolute lymphocyte count more than absolute lymphocyte count more than 5000 per millimeter cube and some patient may not have lymphocytosis still have other features they are classified as sll so cll basically involves bone marrow and blood and sll basically involves the lymph nodes so basically these both are neoplastic proliferation of the b cells the b lymphocytes the age group it occurs in old age at the median age is 60 right pathogenesis either there is deletion of 13q 11q or 17p so you have to learn the number of the chromosomes it's 13q 11q and 17p or there is trisomy of 12q right among them the good prognosis is 13q this 13q have good prognosis and it is the most common also among them so if you want to learn one the most common the good prognosis is 13q never forget coming on the clinical features the clinical features are due to the marrow failure so again there will be anemia you know the reason due to decrease rbc synthesis there can be bleeding disorders due to decrease platelet synthesis that is thrombocytopenia and there can be increased chances of infection because the wbcs are non functional right there can be enlargement of superficial lymph nodes there can be splenomegaly there can be hepatomegaly the spleen and liver size will be increased coming on the uh, lab diagnosis we divide the lab diagnosis into three categories here blood picture immunophenotyping and lymph node biopsy we divide them into three categories in the blood picture there is anemia the anemia here is normocytic normochromic anemia there is thrombocytopenia that is platelet count is reduced and coming on the blood cells the, there is marked leukocytosis the wbc count is increased ranging from 50000 to 2 lakh you got my point so normal wbc count is 4000 to 11000 but here wbc count is increased abruptly and 90% of the wbcs are lymphocytes they are small mature lymphocytes we don't found blast here then what is the difference lymphocytes are present in normal human being also na so here in cll also lymphocytes are present but these lymphocytes are not uh, normal they are mature small lymphocytes but they are abnormal their cell membrane is very fragile right so sometimes while forming the peripheral smear we take a drop of blood so this is the patient's blood and this is the slide so what we do we take one drop of the patient blood on the slide and with the help of the spreader we just make a peripheral tongue shaped smear so while doing so if the patient is positive for cll so patient bloods contain abundant of small mature lymphocytes so their cell membrane is very fragile so while spreading them with a spreader on a slide they just burst they just burst so bursted lymphocytes are known as basket or smudge cells these are the degenerated forms these are due to damage nuclei of the fragile malignant lymphocytes right so that is a blood finding you can see the image in this typical image you have only two findings number 1 you can see the multiple small lymphocytes so all these cells are lymphocytes the small mature lymphocytes right these all and apart from which you can see some of them are already bursted we can see the degenerated nucleus some of them are bursted these are known as smudge cells or basket cells so the two findings small lymphocytes with smudge and basket cells it is the hallmark of cll so see the diagram can you see the two things yes you can see the small lymphocytes these all are small mature lymphocytes these all and you all can also see in the bursted cells the bursted uh, cells with degenerated nuclei so these are known as smudge cells so these are the two hallmark of cll now compare the four leukemias please everyone compare the four leukemias on this side you can see the myeloid that is aml and cml on this side you can see the lymphoid that's all and cll so what is the summary in aml we find only one type of cells and all these cells are myeloblast with iron rod in them so it's cool uniform appearance and we can see the typical typical iron rod in their cytoplasm right the second is the lymphoblast so lymphoblast only one type of cell is present in all that is lymphoblast they do not have iron rod they have scanty cytoplasm and bigger nucleus right in cml it's garden party appearance we can find multiple type of cells they can be uh, promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte band form uh, it, it can be basophil it can be eosinophil so multiple cells are present the last is the cll 
that we have seen there are only two findings what are the two findings 